Welcome back to Florida's Worst Vlog. Today we've got a special adventure for you. We're starting here <clears throat> at my work at the hospital in Marinette, Wisconsin. And as you can see, I got a little something in the bed of my truck. And we're going to start heading straight north. The plan for the night is to make it to the most desolate lake at the very tip of the upper peninsula of Michigan. And hopefully we're the only ones that show up. But we got this old trusty steed here. We got camping supplies. Got the old Ford F-250. We're gonna be sleeping in the back seat of the truck tonight at the lake. So that purr. So by my calculations, leaving at about 5.30 in the evening, we got about a five hour drive. I don't know. Get there about 10:30, 11 o'clock. See some northern lights tonight. Let's go. Florida's worst vlog. Saddle up. All right, y'all. Well, just a few miles back, there's a sign that said "Warning: Moose Crossing." We out here. This is Highway 141 between Crystal Falls and Covington. And according to all the reports, this is where the moose live in Michigan. So it's Labor Day weekend. I'm not wasting any time. Left the hospital, got off work right at 5.30, jumped on the road, and I haven't talked to you for a little while because we've been hurrying to get up here. Around sunset is when these magnificent beasts come out in the wetlands up here. And right here along this highway, Route 141, between Crystal Falls and Covington is where they're so I'm going to keep my eyes open. We're going to keep heading on, try to get to camp. And uh, we got a lot more adventure for you this weekend. We've got a long holiday weekend coming up, and I'm excited. You should be excited. I mean, we got the old canoe here, and we're hitting up Michigan's Upper Peninsula, this beautiful area. All right, we've made it to our third stop here on our adventure evening and Labor Day weekend. This is called Lance, Michigan, L apostrophe A-N-S-E, and this is the Kenesaw Bay. And that right there is the Kenesaw Peninsula. So we're still going on Highway 41 here. Once we get up around this corner, we're gonna go all the way out on that peninsula to the very, very end out into Lake Superior. And that's the, uh, the little lake we're looking for that we're going to camp on tonight. But right now we're just in this beautiful little inlet of Kenesaw Bay. And you can see the town of Lance there. And it's pretty dark. But what a beautiful area. Just love the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. But let's go. Alright, so we made it. We got to the campsite. There's another group of people here. They got their four wheelers out there. But we are at Hoar Lake and I'm in the back seat of the truck. Go to sleep through the night. And then we're gonna get up and get the canoe. Get out and try to catch something in the morning. So packing it in for the night. It's a long drive. It's about one in the morning now. But I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. We made it. The plan last night was to go to Fish Cove here at Hoar Lake. There's a little camping area there on the what looked like a pristine little beach where I could sleep in the truck and then launch the canoe this morning and go out and catch some fish on the lake. 
but plans change, don't they? So I show up and I'm going to guess maybe five or six gentlemen with their ATVs, a bunch of broken down trucks, it looks like a couple shacks they tried to build, three or four remnants of old campfires, about 30 or 40 tons of trash are just spread throughout the whole camp area. And this road that leads down to Hoare Lake is pretty rough. It's, I mean, I was bottoming out quite a bit on the way down there. And I got some pretty high clearance. But anyway, when you get to the end of it, you kind of come up upon the uh, edge of the lake. They're really sudden. And I had the, you know, bright lights on and come around the corner. I wasn't expecting anybody to be there. And there was a little community. So had to introduce myself. They didn't expect me and I didn't expect them. We came to terms and they said it wouldn't be a big deal if I just pulled off to the side since it was such a a truck to get up here. It wouldn't be a big deal for me to just pull off to the side and crawl into the back seat and and take a nap. So I slept. Slept pretty good. It's about 6.30 in the morning now. And uh, slept pretty good. Woke up this morning. I think I was up way before them. As they were still up doing fireworks at about 1 or 2 in the morning. And uh, decided not really a, a clean beach area like it looks like in all the old uh, pictures. Pretty, uh, pretty trashed. A lot of stuff. Bags and bags of trash and old trucks. And uh, I'll throw a couple pictures I took in there. But looks like they've been doing maintenance on their ATVs. And there's old auto parts. It's just, it's a shame. <laughs> got done taking a shower there by the truck finishing up this coffee it's really good oh yeah that little um percolator i bought is fantastic cools down real fast too the um cast iron pan there is taking a while to cool down but we got time i just took the canoe out to dump some water out of it just had a little bit in it when i bought it so it's a rough old girl, but I think she'll do real well on the lakes today and tomorrow. So we're going to start heading south here in a little bit down towards Ontonagon. Down at Porcupine Mountain State Park.
don't know if you're able to hear me at all with the wind, but we're here in Eagle River. Way out on the Kiniwa Peninsula here. I think it's what they call it. Kiniwa, Ken, I don't know. Who knows how Michiganders pronounce anything. Take a look at these. The rocks on this beach. It's almost like cobblestone. How worn they are. How perfectly flat they are. Like skipping rocks. It's gone for miles, the rocks. <laughs> this is just crazy how, how perfectly flat all these rocks are. Look how flat and soft that rock is. Eagle River, Michigan. Historic bridge built in Agate Beach. And a lot of these people are using these little scoopers and UV lights trying to find these rocks with glow in the dark capabilities. The lake cabin. This is the uh, entryway of the cabin here. It's great, man. Love it. Here's the front door. Nice little sitting area here. Our kitchen, restroom, bedroom one, bunk room one, and bedroom three is back in the back of the house. And right out here, 
the barbecue. Lake Superior. Right on, let's go. It's real nice out here on the lake. Got the barbecue. Coals heating up. A few steaks right there. I got one. Oh, oh. Up, pull him up. Pull him up. Nice. Look at that. Good job.
So this is Lake of the Clouds at Porcupine Mountain State Park in Michigan. Beautiful, beautiful views up here. Every direction you look is just gorgeous. Highly recommend a trip to this place if you haven't been here before, especially when the colors change. This is going to just explode with color here in about a month. You can barely see Lake of the Clouds, and over there you can see Lake Superior poking through. Beautiful. Sorry, I'm breathing really heavy, but this is quite the hike inside Porcupine Mountain State Park here. We're trying to go up to the Summit Trail. Beautiful. Big forest parked way back down there. And we're headed way up there. Everywhere you look at this old cabin, there's this history of this grandma and grandpa that have just kind of left it all here for us to enjoy, even right down to their photo albums. Look at this. My best wishes to you from Kay. Happy birthday to Daddy. And on the next page... I guess it's two pages over. Look at that. Thank you for the 
whatever, and the birth dong blind and mittens. The long johns, that's it. Thank you for the long johns. And bean bag, something in mittens. Love, Mandy. To Grandma and Grandpa. And old photo albums of them enjoying this cabin. It looks like back in the 70s. Some pretty scary Halloween costumes, probably the grandkids. But it just looks like... Decades and decades of people taking the same pictures we just took through this area, the Upper Peninsula. Forty-five. <laughs> Lake Superior Cabin, night number two of the Upper Peninsula Adventure. This is the Pike Room of the cabin. This is where we're staying tonight. At least I have a bed tonight, not sleeping in the back of my truck. Last day here, the lakefront cabin. Just wrapping it up and getting ready to hit the hay for the last time tonight. You can hear Lake Superior out there punishing the, the beach right in front of our cabin. Pretty dark out here.
Calm Lake Superior out there today. 